Hello, hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Marta here and today I hope we will do some card making together. Christmas, as you can easily guess, this paper set I purchased only recently. Um, if you're watching my video, you did see my Christmas haul. If you didn't, go and check it out. I purchased this gorgeous paper set. I also bought those card bases and I figured, you know what, time to use it, time to make some something pretty. So I'm starting off by using this green uh, base for my card. I pre-cut <laughs> off camera this lovely uh, paper and I'm thinking to build uh, something around that. I also purchased this super awesome vellum block which I like and I think uh, some of them could be very Christmassy uh, and I already cut it, oh it's here <laughs> I already cut it this gorgeous uh, vellum element that I hope to incorporate somewhere here on my card I have those uh, super pretty uh, flowers from my friend Agnieszka, she made them herself and I also have some chipboards, so I'm gonna cut uh, some chipboards and hopefully incorporate those somewhere in my card, let's see to, all the chipboards they're coming in the pieces like that so that uh, you know the design is not gonna get destroyed and you need a knife just to cut in few places, in few spots, just to cut out the flowers. Uh, oh yes, um, we may use them or may not, I'll see, but I have to cut it out to kind of put it next to my card and see whether it's nice or maybe it's not really what I was thinking. Oh, I like that. I like that. So I'm going to cut the smaller one as well. Let me just do that. Um, Yet again, I have no plan for this card. Uh, very traditional colors. I'm more into kind of uh, not traditional as such, I think. Mm, more into gray, white, winterish colors, blues even, teals. Not so much so traditional, but I think challenge is always good. So I will challenge myself to to see if I can cope and manage to create something like that using uh, ordinary colors of Christmas. Now I have this wreath which I used, uh, I'm not sure if it's already on the channel, but I used before. If I didn't, if you didn't see it, it will be definitely used at least once more. Uh, on the Christmas baubles that we've done with Emily, I've used it there. We both have used it. Um, now it's kind of opening since I cut it, but I'm gonna just see if this will be nice, so I will cut it smaller. I like that it's coming kind of pretty a lot of it, you know, pretty a lot so that you can really have use it on many projects. I like that. I like that. I like when the product is coming in <laughs> so many um, meters, let's say sometimes, especially like that. Okay. Let's just kind of start playing with it and see if this is something that it's in our liking. Maybe I turn it around like that. Kind of read. <laughs> mm -hmm. I have also those die cards which could be nice I think. Let's see, let's see. Um, I wouldn't be myself if I wouldn't try to... <laughs> If I wouldn't try to make some layers, of course, so that's what I'm, I will try to achieve now. A few layers of different kind of papers, maybe. And I'll see. And also, I have this thing for the corners that I like to use sometimes. It's very quiet. Emily's in school. <laughs> uh, Hannah is asleep. I wonder for how long <laughs> she'd be asleep because I was doing something else and then I was like oh she's asleep actually I could record why don't I just quickly jump in into studio <laughs> so oh I like that slowly something interesting is showing up I think mm -hmm, I like that I don't know look this is only a trial to see I like that. I slowly start liking it. Mm -hmm. Something along those lines. 
Ah. I took down my composition because I felt, and look, I felt that two, um, uh, two papers on top of each other that are busy, it's a little bit, it's a little bit wrong in my vision. So I'm grabbing some white just to see if I can actually pull it off and if it's going to be better. And I already think it's better. Let's just move on and see even more. Maybe this could be somewhere there. I like that. <clears throat> white always helps to hold on to it's just uh, why yeah that's I think that's much better now I really do think so you know what I'm gonna do I'll just start gluing down because I'm afraid that eventually my composition <laughs> is gonna fall off uh, let me grab some 3d foamy thing uh, which I'll attach here mm -hmm. And um, this year I made I made already so many Christmas videos and you are enjoying it and thank you so much for watching them Thank you so much for making projects from my videos. That means the world to me But I'm glad that you see that wow Marta you are on the fire <laughs> You are making so many videos. So I am I really am enjoying this year Christmas I don't know why well I always enjoy it, but I think this year. It's just something I don't know, it's just I have this huge en energy recently, a really huge energy recently. I don't know from where, but I do. And I just am able to make one video after another one and just I enjoy it. And even <laughs> the fact that we pulled it together Emily's channel because I uh, many times I thought about it when she asked for it. But it was just like I was thinking, <sighs> like I really have no time for managing and doing uh, something like on top of what I'm already do doing but somehow I kind of I don't know recently with I just have more uh, maybe I'm better organized I can't tell I don't know <laughs> I don't know but certainly something has changed for a po for a better for positive that I can that I can just do things and I have I'm organized better I think maybe that's the th that's the that's the uh, secret Oh, I, look, I never pulled, I never uh, put that down. That's so funny. Oh, Hannah is awake. Let me grab her. I forgot to stick. That's probably first time ever happened <laughs> that I forgot to stick the the base for my card. I'm using double-sided tape. As always. As, yes, as always. I, I don't like using glue. I much more prefer double-sided tape. <laughs> it's just cleaner for me. No mess. Um... Yes, I, I keep on repeating myself, but I do believe that many of you could be new to my channel. Maybe you you never watched my card making videos before and maybe you actually would enjoy hearing some basis, basics as well. So I do repeat <laughs> myself. Okay, let's attach that to our background, to our base, sorry, our background to our base. <clears throat> okay, I like that. I like that very much indeed. I have some other... Oh, like, that will be nice. That will be super nice. You know what? I just changed it and I took took away this reed and I only left my white flowers and I changed my, my chipboard to this gorgeous lamp thing, chandelier or whichever that is. I love it. And look, it's different. But I like that. I really, really like that. Um, I also found those gorgeous chipboards, which I think could look really nice somewhere they're going. I, I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but I have some chipboard selection in my online Etsy store. So you can go and check it out. I have Christmas selection as well. Um, yes, uh, I have others, <laughs> other things too, but I got some Christmas for you, especially the ones that I'm using on my videos. Uh, of course, they are, as usually, randomly packed, but only beautiful, <laughs> only beautiful designs. Let me just see how this could be. I have this vision that this could be really pretty now. Oh, now, will I fit somewhere there? I think I'm gonna stick this one because I like it. 
gently here and there mm -hmm. something like that I like that I wonder if I fit a Merry Christmas anywhere let me grab some paper I'm collecting scraps of paper here next to my on my desk on the side so any scraps I had I was nicely <clears throat> collecting those so then next time I need a piece of paper like that small smallish one I have it and I can quickly make a stamp uh, stamp title for the card okay let's see gorgeous perfect <clears throat> Uh, I'll see if this will actually be nice it will now what about if I will try to get rid of those corners since it just I think it just looks more more professional I do suggest you to get yourself this corner punch it's inexpensive and it will last you for long and it will really makes a difference in your makes I think now <clears throat> or maybe how about if I go something like that no 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 <laughs> no 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 Marta okay let's go back to the original idea which was this I think I'm gonna just risk it and attach it gently because otherwise it's keep on moving on me you know so I'm gonna just attach it. Poor Hannah is teething again. Well, I keep on saying she's teething, but there's no new teeth. They're saying that the child is teething all the time. In a way, yes, I think. Uh, she is good altogether. I ca we can't complain. We seriously are very happy with her. But sometimes it's just she's more more moaning than usually. It's just natural thing, I guess. Um, so we think she's a little bit teething yet again today. Hopefully it will it won't last long. I like that. I'm not too sure about the title, but I love the card itself, even without the title. Because sometimes you maybe you don't need the title. I don't know. Some some Christmassy, uh, not too much white, I think. But I have those green flowers as well. Maybe they'd be better or. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love that. The red one would be nice if I had, but I don't think... Well, I have only this type of red from Little Birdie. But I'm not sure if this will... Mm, actually? No. Uh, no, not this time. <laughs> no. Mm, I have some other elements. Those are from my collection that I collected and I have like four boxes for Christmas which I last year segregated properly last year after Christmas and I put them upstairs so I wouldn't you know I don't need them during the year nearly so um, now I have the boxes downstairs to use and it's much easier to find elements and I collect those over the years those are like from very early stages of my creating to be honest those berries stuff so yes, <laughs> some things are really, really, really old and um, I, I don't throw things. I try to use my stash regularly if I can, uh, of course on top of buying new stuff because we love new things. This is only natural thing for crafter. <laughs> so let me just, let me just see if I can apply this anywhere because I think the red accent on top of the card simply because of the red uh, background I think it would be just nice to have so maybe oh there we go or maybe those two oh. no not I'm not too sure maybe there maybe three of those flowers I'll have to think. I think I have it. I think I'm gonna stick down those and have those here um, and use three flowers. I think I've tried all the options off camera kind of and I really prefer that. I really like that so I'm gonna stick with those two flowers and the small green one I think it would be just nice as well to add it like here as a touch. I think so. I really think so because I tried adding different things but no it's just no um, 
One more thing that maybe I'll suggest you what you could do is to use a little bit of white paint or white gesso so that, let me grab some brush, so that our berries are not gonna be so much shiny and you know it's just adding it's like if you adding a little bit of a little bit of snow on top I guess and that straight away looks so much better isn't it straight away so much better if you feel like adding somewhere on top of the flowers as well please do I think just sometimes touch of white is helping everyone and everything <laughs> white is good I like I love white and black and gray in all <laughs> versions I also think I'm gonna just grab some uh, grab some silver silver um, glitter and I'm gonna sprinkle that if I can find oh we have some red here <laughs> I don't know if Emily was using that or myself <laughs> Possibly myself as well. I'll see if I can add some red glitter on top of my berries here. Oh, oh, the babinka. Okay, that didn't stick too well, but let's try and and I'm gonna repeat my. I think I'm gonna repeat my. No, not this one. I'll take this and I will repeat a bit of white so that it's gonna be wet and I can sprinkle mm -hmm. there we go a little here as well so once it's wet mm -hmm. I can sprinkle and everything looks so much better and also united united? Mm -hmm. let's put that down well let's just turn it around and if it's too much glitter we can get rid of that and voila <laughs> I like that look at this I like the fact that we have uh, actually I can bring the camera closer no oh, there we go I like that you can Oh, can you see the I hope you can see how shiny it is and glittery. I really hope you can in that camera. Oh, I'm not sure if you can. Anyway, I liked how white and red goes together with the green, of course. It's a very traditional looking card in a way. Uh, a little bit of glitter always helps 3D. Now, how would I post a card like that? Many of you are asking me, Marta, this is so 3D. How you post it? Well, first of all, cards like that, usually I would give it away in a foil, in a cellophane, not even envelope. Write things inside, put something inside if you have, and just put it plastic over. If I'm sending, then I'm buying a padded envelope with bubbles inside, bigger size. That's how I do it, you know, um, or sometimes you can make, um, you can just cover it with bubble wrap first and then ship it, send it over as well. Let me show you before we go, well, let me show you some examples of Christmas, beautiful Christmas uh, chipboards that you can find in the store. They are so very pretty, you have to say that. I choose only the nicest one because I really wanted you to have something that I love as well. So you have to l have a look at that. I hope you can see it well because of the... No, I know. I'll show you better if I use the... If I use the... Let's say this. There we go. Some snowflakes. Reed. Is it sharp enough, actually? I'm not sure if it's sharp enough. I think so, yes. Some gorgeous elements so more more and more in the store so have a look
and chipboards like that, little sockies and some Christmas trees, some other Christmas tree, let me show you better, some other Christmas tree, uh, some deer, absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, I picked some most, <laughs> most pretty ones. Anyway, I'm gonna go and finish it that and yes, <laughs> simply because the family is calling me as an, I can hear Hannah uh, wish for mama when she hears me being here in the in the studio so uh, you know I finished the session at that I hope you don't mind uh, I, and I hope you understand so I hope you like that <laughs> little video <laughs> little card uh, thank you so much for watching oh yes uh, link to my studio to my online shop that uh, you can go and visit it's called Maremi Small Art and link will be in the description box also in the comment below this video so you can have a look there's more things added in the store that I will be using soon in the videos so you can have a look at that decoupage papers as in beautiful rice decoupage papers paper sets for a change different little things so have a look you'll be surprised how pretty things how how many pretty things is there uh, anything else I wanted to say yes go and make some cards and make sure to send some handmade cards this time to your uh, friends and family thank you so much and I'll talk to you very soon bye bye bye